I'm sorry. You know, you have to be able to answer questions in politics. And words have meaning. And for someone who has been nothing but, you know, pigging out at the trough of earmarks for her entire career to suddenly become an enemy of earmarks, I mean, it's insane. It just doesn't make any sense. And, and fine, if she wants to run on other things, and maybe she's a great governor, and perhaps she is, but I just think to pick earmarks is just, an, it's just outrageous. And I think everybody can agree, regardless of party, that if she is going to be the vice president, she's going to have to learn to say nuclear rather than nuclear. We've had, <laughs> Why, we've why had, not continue the tradition we've, of we've the We've had eight year, years, right. and you, you see exactly where this got us. Same, right? it, it strikes me that she's wearing this as almost sort of a, a badge of honor, the sort of I'm one of the people. I don't need to uh, deal in the, the finer elements uh, of politics there. And it's, it's a rather strange thing because we're not like... You know, hiring somebody for a you prison know, uh, work release program. It's this is for the vice Kim, president. Uh, hold, hold on, Gloria, because I, I do want to talk about the specifics on the mm -hmm. earmarks issue, mm -hmm. and, and let's listen to more of what she had to say. Um, she has, of course, been repeating this mantra of thanks but no thanks to the bridge for nowhere. That she's anti earmark uh, reformer in general. Um, those claims have come under pretty tight scrutiny, clearly, from this crowd. John McCain was also asked about this this morning on the View, and I just want to play what he had to say about it. Is she going to reform specifically? Senator. Well, first of all, earmark spending, which she vetoed a half a billion dollars worth in the state of Alaska. She also, uh, she also uh, took uh, some uh, earmarks. Uh, no, uh, not as governor. She didn't. She uh, she vetoed. Uh, well, look, uh, the fact is that she was a reform governor. Okay, now. It's just not true. I mean, it's just not true what he's saying, that she didn't take earmarks. Now, she's, she may be a reform governor, but she did take earmarks as, as She's as taken governor. less than her predecessor. Well, but he didn't I, say that. Claim, I mean, I mean, let me just say that's the claim okay. of, the, of the McCain campaign. But, but let's look at this. I, I mean, just back away for a minute. Purely a strategy. I, I, yeah, you're absolutely right. What he's saying is not true, and yet as a strategy, does it matter? I mean, he, to me, it looks like it's sort of the pathological liar character from Saturday Night Live over and over again, even quarreling with the fact checkers who are checking him. But you know what? We can correct it on CNN, the Washington Post, whatever. That doesn't necessarily matter. You know, Mark Twain said a lie can get halfway around the world while the truth is uh, putting on its shoes. And that's exactly uh, what they're well aware of. He's going to be on to the next thing before you catch up. But to you know, this. I'm sorry. We have an obligation to just do our best to try to get the truth out there. I don't care who wins. I don't care what strategy anybody's following. But I mean, we do have to just talk about what's true and what's not. Media elitist. Uh, yeah, well, hey, look, obviously. better you be the punching bag to the McCain <laughs> campaign than me. Um, go ahead, Gloria, last word. You know, you're, every, what is it? You're entitled to your opinion, but not your own facts. Senator and I Moynihan. Think, and, 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 that's right, Senator Moynihan. And, and the, the point is on, on earmarks. Alaska had, last year, asked for $200 million of earmarks. You talk to people in the McCain campaign, they will say that.